Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play of Red Dead Redemption. I'm your host Vanfor and in today's episode we are going to get on with some missions here but before we do let's just open up our little container here pick up some ammo and let's have a look we have a mission over at Bonnie's so let's go and do that now Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Yeah, I bet you will. And yet, I think I'm going to uh, absolutely own you. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. So, keep me on the left-hand side of the screen at the moment. You can see the mini map. Isn't this jolly? You also have a little blue bar. That yeah. is the horse's stamina. Yeah. And on the right is our horse's health. Call yourself now, a ranger. Now, if I uh, run this horse too hard, I'm going to end up either coming off or killing the horse. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. This isn't a particularly hard How you doing place at all. There? It's just more a uh, tutorial than anything else. Just teaching you about the mechanics of horse riding. Would you like me to slow down? There are some cart races a bit Should later on. Should I wait for you to game. catch up? Come on. It is funny to listen to the banter. Watch and learn, man. Swing them. Let's pick up the pace. Are you saving so the let's best continue life? here with Grand Theft Horse. Yeah. Way out in the lead at the moment. I'm just keeping an eye on my uh, stamina bar. I don't want to run it lower than about half. I've got no need to run it lower than about half, to be this fair. Whoa! Be How come that come happened? On. All of a sudden, my uh, horse decided You're to steer not as bad right as up I to the left instead of turning right. Yeah, shut up, Bonnie. Follow me! Let's go! I have got you now! You haven't. You ain't getting away that easily! Let's go! I just noticed my controller's left analog sticks are doing something very hard. I'm sure it will be fine. But we only have a few more tutorial missions to get done. 
and then we'll be able to get into the swing of things here. Whoa, hold up. Where's my horse all of a sudden slowed down and she sped up? You still think you're gonna Maybe. win this, don't you? Come on, boy! This sure beats hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Not happening, love. I'll catch you. Not today. You wait. Boom. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Boom, we gained a little bit of fame. And we have another mission that's just appeared on the minimap here, which is Marshall, Marshall Johnson. But before we go and do that, we may as well pick up the other Bonnie Langford. Bonnie Langford? Oh, Mr. Marston. Don't How mean are Bonnie you? Langford. Good, Mr. McFarlane. How are you? McFarlane. I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. So she's going to ride shotgun. And I'm going to get in the driver's seat. <clears throat> you're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, man. I think I just ran so over a chicken, man. Have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, Miss. So we're heading back to where so. we started the I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. Um, what about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I Nuts understand you. Time, I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, Miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. How very true, John. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. God, this cart is so slow. I can't wait you to get to where the, you live. Uh, I have a small hole horses in this game. Lane. A farmer? <clears throat> yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chicken? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So we're so going to be pulling up here. Let's go stop the conversation. Right so this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. And this is pretty much just teaching us um, a little bit about shops and where we can buy stuff. So let's head on in. How can I help you? The marshal ain't no man in my eyes. Howdy, mister. 
You need something for that We're gonna guy. buy some medicine. He's also got chewing tobacco and an a apple. Huh? We've got absolutely no money. I gotta make sure I get some. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. It's very kind of you. <laughs> and then it just says that there are stagecoaches that we can use to head between areas that we've been to. You can also get a bed over at the inn. <clears throat> but I think our best bet is to try and earn ourselves some money here. So that is the stagecoach over there. We have a cellar just there. We have a mission here and a mission back at Bonnie's. But what I want to do is have a look at, I think it's under journal, challenges. Was it challenges? I, I had a feeling it was going to actually let us know about challenges. Perhaps it doesn't unlock until a bit later on. What is that? Oh, it's a dog. Well, I don't want to go shooting up any dogs. But let's see if we can't find some things to uh, kill out in the wilderness to try and uh, earn us some money. Because we're not going to get very far without some cash. And there are also things like plants to pick up, etc, etc. That'll do. some crow feathers there. And ideally the first thing I want to be getting is the survivalists map which shows us where there are plants growing which obviously makes it easier to then farm those plants. There's something going on somewhere. I can hear gunfire. What the hell is that? It's a... Uh, yeah. Did I get it? Yes, I did get it. There we go. This is messy. Little blood splatter on the uh, screen there. And uh, let's also just quickly have a look at Deadeye as well, something that we didn't get a chance to look at last time. So we can slow down time and then shoot Deadeye, as it's called. Just run over here and collect our feathers. Crow feathers, look, there's even a plant over here somewhere. I think this is wild fever few. 
There you go. So, let's see if the challenges is now updated. Here we go. Okay. So, survivalist. Collect six of wild fever few. A fever few. Sharpshooter, shoot and kill five flying birds. Well, we've already killed. That's better. A number of them. There's another one down. <clears throat> and as I say, this is all. At the end of the day, this is all money. Which we will need. I know uh, uh, a lot of you, I expect, will be wanting me to have uh, done another mission after we got to Armadillo. We will, of course, do uh, <laughs> all of the missions in this playthrough, but I don't want to be rushing uh, this playthrough. Oh, come on. So, any other birds? There's a bee. Pretty sure I can't shoot the bee. Let's try just up here. There's another deer. I hope it was a deer. <laughs> yes, it was a deer. Good. Ooh, and that right there was a rabbit. And it says I got an expert hunter entry. Let's make this quick. I wonder what that was. Jacka Lopez. That's an armadillo. these animals we're finding. Come on. Tons of stuff. Let's get this over with. This is all good. And there's another one over there. Got some more birds. What the it says he landed here. Oh there he is. Okay. So let's just do that quickly and check what we've got here. Sharpshooter, shoot and kill five rabbits. We've still got that one to do as well. And we have the uh, hunter things. This is the one we've just... Um, Located here, the expert hunter. In order to do this, we have to harvest 5,000 pounds of meat, kill a cougar with a stick of dynamite, kill and skin eight snakes, kill the legendary jackalope. Didn't think it was legendary, but okay. And complete the Daedalus and Sun Strangers task. Fair enough. But I think that that is probably, in terms of hunting and skinning, for now, I think that's probably a good place for us to uh, just head back and hand in, pick a few more of these herbs. The skins, the meat, and all the other things that we're farming at the moment, I'm going to be selling. The plants, I'm going to hold on to just for now because there is a mission a little bit later on that demands us to hand in plants and I'm not entirely sure whether they grow back I think they probably do but rather than risk it you know it would probably make more sense for us just to hold on to them so I don't need to go and farm them again right let's head to the general store and go and sell Say general store. I actually mean the weapons now. The the Hello there. There you go. So, armadillo meat. 
cell, armadillo, carapace cell, buck antlers, crow feathers. I'm thinking that were mutually we beneficial. Deer meat, rabbit meat, hawk feathers, deer skin, and songbird feathers. There we go. Is there anything that I can buy at the moment? Not really. I could get some ammo. I don't really need to, though. Or some bait. But I don't need any of that. So we'll leave here for now. And we'll just go and check the general store quickly. You are always welcome at this establishment. Hello, friend. Okay, so he's got a rabbit's foot. Makes you lucky, which increases the items and money you loot by 20%. Best thing to do is buy this as soon as possible. For obvious reasons. So, we will buy that. The survivalist map, I said I would buy. So that's done that as well. The improved campsite gives you a place to rest and refills ammunition for all types of guns if you have none. That's pretty nice. They've also got maps here, which displays, as it says, town settlements, landmarks, and hideouts in Gaptooth Ridge. Allows fast travel from camp. And also Chahula Springs. And then he has deeds to horses, which are blooming expensive. So, let's move away from this chappy. And let's check our items quickly. Now, how do I go about doing that now? <laughs> uh, it's not under weapons. Outfits, journal, journal? No. Outfits, no. Aha. Okay, so we have a war horse consumable here. Survivalist map. Put that up straight away. Basic camp the campsite and rabbit's foot and we have war horse special dark brown horse with a light mane faster and stronger than normal so we could use that and that basically means that when we call or whistle like this we're gonna have our horse turn up You get a horse very early on in the game, and it's about the same as this one. So I don't consider this cheating. Everybody gets the war horse when you first start the game. It used to be a DLC content item within the first, I think, two weeks. They made it that everybody got it. But in any case, we are going to rest up inside here. Can't remember if it's an upstairs or downstairs bedroom. I think it might be, yeah, upstairs. Yeah, except for the fact that I don't have enough to purchase this. Oh dear, okay. Then I expect we will end up having to head out of town and use the campsite. Let's go. I'm riding my horse too hard apparently. Let's get outside of town here yeah. this looks like a nice spot and this is where we will call it for today guys I really hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please do all those lovely social media things please like comment share subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you next time for more of our Red Dead Redemption playthrough. But until then, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> I've got a feeling I know. Oh my god, this is going to be horrendous. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Guard Man, but uh, we need your hand, mate. <laughs> oh my god! Oh look, it's, oh, I can make it wave! Hello? Hello? 
I guess all right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, witchy, witchy. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Right, okay. That's my horrid sense of humor there. And... Uh. Let's keep it. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Okay. Oh, that's horrible.